Welcome back to Street Smart. We've been talking group on this afternoon. Let's bring in Dixon Dahl. He's co-founder of DCM. That's a venture capital firm that invested in more than 120 companies since 1996 and currently manages about $2 billion. Dahl, by the way, has been in the tech industry for more than 35 years and served as the chairman of the National Venture Capital Association from 2008 to 2009. Dixon, sounds like you're the perfect person to talk about this. Um, Groupon coming out with its IPO, $750 million. If you were involved in this company directly, Directly, knowing what Google was bidding for it just a few months ago, six billion dollars. Do you like this IPO deal, or do you think Groupon made a mistake and should have gone for the Google deal? Um, I haven't seen the numbers. I apologize, but I, I know the a number of the directors uh, uh, quite well, and I think that Groupon has been uh, executing uh, very, very well. They are profitable. They are growing extremely rapidly. And I think it's a, a perfect situation, uh, uh, a classic example of the kinds of uh, venture-backed companies that are truly uh, transformative that, um, that should go public and uh, establish the war chest so that they can continue uh, their explosive growth rates uh, because there's a tremendous... Uh, amount of market penetration that yet, yet to be accomplished. You say, you know, they're making money. They're not making money. They just showed a, a loss for the most recent quarter. We keep talking about how they're not making money. Yes, explosive revenue growth, but they're not making money, and there's competition. Amazon just announcing, uh, planning to get into this uh, field as well today. So uh, why do you think, it, have, knowing those two metrics, why are you so up, upbeat on it? I, I, let me clarify my uh, prior comment about making money. I think they've proven that the business model can make money and that they're making a conscious decision to, um, you know, to spend extra dollars to expand the, uh, the business model. But the model itself is a, uh, a proven uh, profitable model. And then so the, the losses come from a conscious decision to, um, you know, to spend money to expand the market rapidly and, uh, and build share. Sorry for that confusion. Hey, hey Dixon, Dixon, Matt Miller here. Uh, I've been down to the New York Stock Exchange talking a lot about LinkedIn, which isn't trading anymore at $120 a share, but still at 80, which is a lot higher than the 45 they went out for. I'm wondering, from your perspective as a VC guy, as an investor in one of these one of these companies, what do you think about what the bankers did there, and would you be worried that they leave as much money on the table if you were uh, with, investing in Group Groupon when it went public? Um, I'd be very shocked if uh, the uh, bankers um, uh, don't price uh, Groupon, uh, you know, uh, a little bit more carefully. And um, they, they, they did, they raised the, uh, the LinkedIn offering uh, very dramatically uh, before it actually began trading. And so, you know, by their uh, standards, um, they didn't think they, they didn't realize they were going to be leaving this much on the table. I, I would be fairly shocked if... Um, if uh, Groupon, uh, you know, experiences the same kind of percentage gain after it begins trading that uh, that LinkedIn did. I mean, Dixon, is this an IPO that you want a piece of? Would you be interested? Uh, well, our firm doesn't uh, buy, um, you know, IPOs. We actually usually um, are uh, selling shares uh, or using it as a uh, fund-level liquidity event. So. Um, our firm is not in the, in the business of buying this one. Uh, I would personally look at it, um, I, but I, I have to study the numbers more carefully. Does this, does this make you, though, optimistic, Dixon, for exits from the, uh, the investments that you're already in in the future? I mean, is this sector on fire here, and are we going to see a lot more IPOs going forward? Um, I believe that uh, we're going to have a very busy uh, next few months. Um, I spent a lot of time. I have one company in our portfolio uh, that's likely to, um, you know, to uh, begin trading uh, sometime uh, in the next uh, couple of months. Which one is and it? We have several others. So I think it's going to be a very, uh, very interesting and active summer for venture-backed IPOs. Can you name some names? What are the companies that you want to bring out? Um, I, I'm not supposed to mention those because we're in a quiet period. All right. Just, so, just so. between us. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, one of them is four, Force Ten. Force, Force 10. Ten. All right. Yeah, but you just you didn't get that from me. You got it from the uh, you know from the uh, the SEC filings. You can look at those and see how close we are. So. Got it. Thank you. Got to leave it there, Dixon. Thank you so much.